Hey, YT, what's going on? This is Fat Fabulous J, A.K. Jackie. Now, after today, I am not going to be calling myself Fat Fabulous J. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of saying it. You'll see it in the beginning, that's enough. After that, you can just call me Jackie. Because that's my name. You call me Jackie. Okay? Alright, so this one, I'm not going to make anything longer drawn out. This is going to be short. This is just an update. I went to see the psychologist and the nutritionist yesterday. I thought I was going to see the doctor, but I didn't. So, let me tell you what was said and where I'm at. Uh, let's start off with the psychologist. The psychologist and me had an interesting conversation. Um, first of all, um, he explained to me that I could have had my surgery by now because I did not sit in the realms of waiting the six month period my insurance didn't have a wait period a wait time period I'm sorry uh, which was interesting to know because I was told that I had to do the six months and therefore I didn't so that was a little it sort of made me mad but at the same time I can't blame nobody but myself because you know I could have had a sleep study done actually probably two months ago I, I know I've had that scheduled several times and I have not done it. And the same thing with cardiology. I could have done all of that when I first went for my first appointment because those are the two things they told me to do. And I didn't do it. Uh, a lot of it was because I couldn't get the appointment at one time. But then when I got them, I did not go. So, whatever. Everybody's telling me not to worry about it. It happens when it needs to happen. So, that's what I'm just going to focus on. Um, he also said another reason why I didn't have to wait the six months is because my BMI was well over 50. Anytime it's over 50, you're considered a risk. So they sort of try to push your case up where you can have it immediately instead of waiting six months. Um, so, and he also explained that they would not do uh, the surgery without the sleep study. Or I couldn't even make an appointment with the surgeon until I saw and had the sleep study because has a lot to do with the uh, anesthesiologist and your breathing and all of that. Um, you know, keep it real. You know, if you're big and you lay down, you know, you're cutting off your, your wind from breathing, your heart stopping. That's some serious shit when you think about it. Your heart stopping, you're cutting off your breath. Uh, your kidneys, you're smashing them. Because that's why you're getting up peeing all night. Uh, shoot. And if you got a large chest, that's just making it even worse. That's like suffocation, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, it's just weighing, you just weighing yourself down. I, I know some women whose chest is, is huge like watermelon. So just put two watermelons on your chest. <laughs> Lay on your back and go to sleep, see what happens. <laughs> I hope you wake up. I don't know how they do it. You know, I don't have a huge chest. It's okay. You know, I'm a double D, but, you know, when I was smaller, I was a C. You know, I just consider myself like Monique. Her ass all belly and wide back here. <laughs> she is, I, I'm acting silly right now, but it's serious. If you look at her pictures when she's big, you know, with a stomach in the front, and you sitting up here thinking, okay, I got double D, you know, my tits are sitting out here. And you look at a picture, <laughs> and your stomach sticking out on your titties, and something ain't right with that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm acting real silly right now. But it's true. Okay, I ain't gonna lie about this. My titties look huge. Yeah, they look huge, but they really ain't. You see me standing up, my titties, or my breasts. You take the titty word out. I'm not trying to offend nobody today, okay? But my breasts is not, you know, like that. Where they just sitting out like that, and my stomach is smaller. No, the stomach doesn't surpass the chest. And that's how I not really need to get something done. Okay, because this stomach is killing me. Inside and out. Can't even eat a meal without having an upset stomach. It's just, I'm tired of it. Just tired of it. Y'all hear me say that every time I talk to you. I, seriously, I'm tired. So, anyway, not to get off the subject, but basically that's why you need the sleep study. And then he also explained to me that even though um, I go and I have a sleep study where I actually sleep there and put all those apparatus on me and all that. I'm actually, they, if they give me a CPAC, I'm going to have to sleep with it for at least a week, maybe two. They're going to monitor me, and I go back and everything's cool. Then they'll give me the go, okay, go ahead, 
she's ready to go. So we are looking at um a little longer for my weight, but not too much longer. We'll get to that at the end of this. Okay, the next thing to talk about is the nutritionist. Um nutritionist weighed me. I was pissed off at her actually when she asked to do it because um that's not her place. <laughs> I usually get weighed in when I see the doctor. But no, she had to be nosy. Now, I didn't gain nothing. I know I didn't gain anything, but I certainly could have lost more. I only lost a pound, okay? Shame on me. Shame on Jackie. Uh, I just in a shitty mood, okay? Uh, I have been like waking up cranky and just mad. Now, and then when I'm asked why I'm mad, I can't even tell you why. I'm just mad. Uh, don't want to be bothered, okay? Um, just in a shitty mood. I'm in a shitty mood right now, believe it or not. My stomach is hurting again. And, uh, I'm sick of taking this diabetic medicine. Maybe that's why I'm shitty me. I hate taking that pill. I'm tired of taking all these pills. I don't care if they use vitamins. I'm sick of taking all these pills every morning. I don't know how people do it, but I don't like it. I went from taking two pills a day to taking shit. Hmm. Close to ten pills a day. That's a lot. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I'm sick of it, personally. So, I'm getting off the subject again. Let me get on back on the subject. Okay, she weighed me. I was mad. I only lost a pound, so I'm at 417. And I had a problem eating the sweets. I'm trying to get my sweets in before I had a surgery. I'm sorry, I'm just a sweethead. So, had some of that. And I mean, pretty much the same thing as sandwiches. I eat more soup, uh, the salads. That's the kind of stuff I'm eating, you know. Not eating off a of salad plate. I told her I did, but I'm, I haven't eaten off a of salad plate yet. You know, I just do that to make her happy. I can eat off a of salad plate; it's not a problem. But I don't need to put a sandwich on a salad plate. Hell, I can have that in a bowl. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't need a sandwich plate, a salad plate for that. Okay, let me see here. Um, I am still chewing my fifteen to twenty times. Uh, I realized why I was having a hard time, maybe because I was stuffing my mouth, okay? <laughs> and when you chew the 15, 20 times, you need to take small bites, okay? Do not, don't put a lot of food in your mouth. I'm not the type of person to just take a big mouthful of food, but the, obviously the bite that I was taking was too much, so I realized to make it smaller, and that way you'll be able to chew the 15, 20 times, even 25 times before you swallow, so I've been working on that. And the last thing that I really need to work on, and you guys too, if you're anything like me, um, swallowing like drinking. I am a gusher. That's what I call myself, a gusher. I take bottles and cups and I just swallow it all down. One time. And my cup is empty. Uh, it's just sad, but it's true. I don't know if it's because I'm diabetic. And we're thirsty all the time, but I can't even say that I didn't do it before I found out I was a diabetic. I don't know. It's just something about feeling that cool coming down. It's just delicious. Uh, the only thing I can't gush down like that is pop, like Coke. That almost kills me. I be feeling like it's about to explode. It just comes right back up. So that one I do have to sip. But mostly everything else, mm -mm, it's gone. It's gone. Don't even share with me with a straw or nothing. It's gone, okay? There's no sharing with me with drinks. It's impossible. You gonna look up and that cup gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be empty. You gonna have an eight ounce glass you give me and say, Hey, oh well, try this girl, it takes a little bit of this and I'll give it back to you, you gonna have two ounces in there. <laughs> That's what I consider a damn taste, okay? <laughs> anyway. Alright, so I have to really work on that. My daughter has been helping me. She uh you can see her big head, she's back there. There she goes, see her? Say hi, Shakir. That's Shakir. She's been helping me, and she'll holler at me and say, Hey, aren't you supposed to be working on that? No, 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 you're not supposed to do that. And I'm like, oh, shoot, yeah. Now, she did suggest me to get an adult sippy cup. That, it just sounds so embarrassing. That a grown woman has to get a sippy cup because she can't control how she swallows. 
You know, it's funny too. Why would they even make an adult sippy cup? And then I told her, I said, well, if we can't drink out of straws, why are we drinking out? Why, why you want us to drink out of sippy cup? But it makes sense because obviously it controls the amount of fluid that goes into your mouth. So I think right now I need one because I don't have any self control when it comes to drinking. Hmm. Sad. Okay, let's see. And last but not least, and I'm done. Uh, we're looking at surgery date. Hopefully, I'm going to say mid November because that would give me time to have a sleep study, go have a sleep study done, use the CPAC for a week or two, and there's all my clearances. I'll have the clearance from the heart doctor next week. So I'll be good to go and I'll have a surgery day and we'll be on our way. Can't wait. I want to see my transformation just like anybody else I haven't looked at. I mean, I've exhausted YouTube looking at the sleeve and the bypass. Now, if you're watching my channel, <clears throat> um, I would like for you to, and you are a person that has had uh, this particular procedure done. You have the sleeve. I need you to tell me how you feel about your outcome. Would you have rather gotten the sleeve or the bypass? If you got the bypass, would you have rather had the sleeve? Because I'm at a cross between the two. I want the bypass. But of course they say if you're diabetic, it's better that you have the sleeve. So I just need to get a little info um, personally from some people. So if you're watching my channel, and you want those type of people, send me a, a, a comment and let me know. Because I would, I would really like to know. Other than that, I'm done. Uh, I have nothing else to say. I have my little reading glasses on today. I'm looking a little studious. I have no makeup on and I barely comb my hair. i give you some idea. And look at my nails. They're growing. They were longer than this from the biotin. And they broke. And that was like a week and a half. And look how much it's grown back. All my nails. Even my thumb. Ain't that something? That stuff is some, something. Look at that. They was broken off a week ago. I mean, literally. I just cut them off because they were splitting. But look how fast they've grown. Look at my thumb. I mean, I can't believe this stuff. It's some good stuff. Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, keep me in your prayers and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.